name's Oleg Brodsky. Um, I'm with Boston Fig. I'm here interviewing three founders of the Tab Lab. Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind introducing yourselves. Uh, I'm Joe Williams, uh, the art director. I'm Ralph Shaw, the CTO. And I'm Dave Michelia, the CEO. So what is the Tab Lab? We're a uh, mobile gaming company, and uh, we've got a, a real-world gaming engine, which actually maps the world around you and lets people play games uh, in the real world. So that sounds an awful lot like your game Tiny Tycoons. Yes. So that is really the engine that powers Tiny Tycoons. Um, and you know, some folks describe Tiny Tycoons as you know, monopoly in real life, um, and you know, wouldn't be able to do it without that engine. Okay. So what really inspired you guys to make Tiny Tycoons? Because that, that's not the sort of game that you see a lot. Yeah. Ralph, do you want to tell the story? It was, it was a, a ride back from yeah. the cheesecake Mac and grill. Oh, Mac and grill. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we were talking about um, the check-in services that started to pop up around, what was that, like 2009, 2010? Yeah. Um, we're so stuff old. like Foursquare, Gowalla. Uh, I don't think Facebook Places had even started then, but yeah. like a couple months ago that came along. And we were talking about how all of these apps were kind of social discovery utilities where you could see where your friends, what your friends are checking into, um, like you know what's hot, like has a lot of check-ins, that sort of stuff, and they were driving engagement by adding game features like you know becoming the mayor, getting badges, that sort of stuff, to their apps, and then we thought it would be a good idea to kind of flip that on its head and take the data that all these services were generating and build a game around that data. On a day-to-day -day basis, um, I'm responsible for the way everything looks, mm -hmm. um, kind of the feel, the um, the visual direction of games, um, what we're working on and stuff, and then uh, making sure that everything's executed properly and you know, kind of meets all of our expectations and stuff. So. Yeah, and then um, I do all of, or used to do all of, now I kind of manage all of the code that gets written to make the stuff that Joe and Dave come up with happen. Okay. And I just play games all day. <laughs> no, I do a lot of the administrative stuff. Um, so you know, everything that's required to keep the studio up and running. Um, but I also still have my hands in product. So I'm very often in design meetings. And uh, I guess I head up QA <laughs> at the moment. Uh, but that will be changing soon. So. Okay. So right now we're in Intrepid Labs. Um, yep. How did you guys you know, find the space? How did you, why did you decide to come in? We were actually one of the first companies to move in here. Um, and it was in January of last year. Yep. Um, so you know the space felt empty back then. Uh, now it's an entirely different beast. Um, yeah, we kind of we got first dibs on the corner. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> but it, it, it's great. I mean, the community here is awesome. Uh, you know, they, they stock it with food. We've got a roof deck. You know, we, we hang out here and party on the weekends, and it's a really um, kind of get things done mentality here, um, which we kind of thrive in. Yeah, I, was, I got a nice tour of this place about a year ago, and it was definitely emptier than, than it is right now. I, I, yeah. I mean, I came back, and it's just, there's people everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how full it's gotten. And it's cool. I mean, a third of those people are game developers, um, and that's because of Intrepid Arcade, which is something that we actually collaborated with Intrepid on creating. Um, we've got, like, the uh, Indie Game Collective here, which is, I think, six different studios um, all together. Um, we're in the far corner, and then Proletariat, which is a new studio, um, that's made up of a lot of the ex Zynga Boston crew is sitting right next to us. So it's a pretty strong gaming culture here. Okay, so speaking of uh, gaming culture around yeah. Boston, uh, you guys were at the first Boston Fig. You guys yeah. were sponsor. So how did you guys uh, come to that decision? So we, I mean, it's, it's funny. The Boston gaming scene is very much a family. And, you know, the folks that put it on are close personal friends. Um, reached out to us for help in terms of getting sponsorship for the events, in terms of, you know, spreading the word. And um, we just kind of stepped up to the plate and said, hey, we'd like to contribute and uh, definitely be there the day of so we could dem demo the prototype for uh, Tiny Tycoon's Tap City. Uh, yeah, last it was year. still called <laughs> Tap City 2 back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, sorry, yeah, Tap City 2. Yeah. Um, and yeah, man, it, it was a blast. I mean, we're definitely going to be there this year. I'm really psyched. I vaguely remember there was a guy that like had a big 
ball costume that like had trouble getting through doors. Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, really excited. The mini yeah. cosplay scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I, I really growing <laughs> next year, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> we'll double it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I really enjoyed just like checking out all the games. Cause it was basically like, you know, a, a mini indie mega booth in each one of the rooms. And, you know, you could actually talk to the devs and, you know, play the game with them right next to you. And I uh, actually went home and, and got a couple of the games I, I demoed and was playing. So. Cool. cool. And what seemed interesting to me was there seemed to be a lot of, like, works in progress, too. So just, like, interesting tech demos. So things that could eventually be fleshed out into larger, like, um, experiences. But yeah. you could see them, like, right as they were starting to, you know, be uh, gestated. Yeah. You can say that. Yeah. We'll see you at FIG. That was terrible. <laughs> Sorry. I thought that could be better. Though. So maybe we can say it together. What he said. The power is yours. No. <laughs> no. Let's all put no. it in. The power the is yours. Planet. Ready? Come on, guys. All right, tree, tree, tree. <laughs> One, two. The power, the power is yours! <laughs>